entree that she went on to have at the Olympic Games, winning a silver in this event, the 400 IM. Bronze, picked up a bronze behind Missy Franklin in that 200 backstroke, just a spectacular year, and she's just carrying it on right here in 2013, picked up where she left off. And a fellow Olympian, Camille Adams, next to her in lane five. Yeah, Camille Adams comes in with the second fastest time in the country this year, and guess who behind? Elizabeth Feisel. Actually, the SEC has the top three times in the country. Sarah Henry, right there in lane six, is the third fastest in the country. So this shows you how great this conference is in the sport of swimming. Several Olympians we've mentioned, 15 countries, 23 Olympians, six Olympians alone for the SEC men and women represented. There's Camille Adams, Trey. Great butterfly. Watch her to go out really fast in this fly. She made the Olympic team in the 200 butterfly. So you know she's going to have the front half, at least that first 100. A weak stroke for Beisel is the fly. But after the fly, Trey, it is full speed ahead for Elizabeth Beisel. Her breaststroke may be as good as her backstroke right now, at least in this, the 400 IM. Edges out in front, has the lead, buys on lane four, Adams in lane five, and another Aggie, Sarah Henry, in lane six. Wow, look, look at this. Look what Beisel's doing now early on. Completely different than she did in the prelims. She was uh, not as fast going out. In fact, she was 26-4. In the prelims, the first 50, she's 25-6 there. Almost a second faster just in the first 50 alone. That's how much faster and how much better Beisel will be here in the finals. The juniors had a remarkable career on the national stage and internationally, and she is being challenged right now by Adams in lane five. Well, Adams was supposed to be out, out front here in the fly, but I don't think she expected Elizabeth Beisel to be so close. I think. Her best shot was here in the fly and try to build a little bit of a wedge between her and Beisel, and she just didn't do it. Now, Camille Adams is a very good backstroker. I think Beisel obviously is a little better, but Adams will be very, very tough here in the backstroke. It's the breaststroke that Beisel will not only blow her away, but blow everybody else in the field away. It's not, not taking anything away from Camille Adams, a great swimmer in this event, obviously. But that's how good Beisel is in the breaststroke. She'll be four seconds faster than anybody else in this field. Unbelievable. Except for ha perhaps Zhu, who's also from Georgia, right there in lane number three. As projected, the Olympians out in front. Beisel in lane four, followed by Camille Adams out of Texas A&M in lane five. And they are really putting some distance between themselves and the rest of the field. Yeah, lane one at the top of your screen. Lane eight at the bottom. So you see Beisel right there in four. Right underneath her is Adams. Ju, who will be very good in the breaststroke, she'll start to make her move here on the breast. But right now, it's between Beisel and Adams. And it hasn't been a lead of more than half a body length uh, watch the this. entire way. Watch this, Trey, though. Watch what she does here in the breaststroke. I would say if Ju was a little bit closer, she could give Beisel a little run for her money because she's also a pretty good freestyler. But she built a big enough lead to, to overcome Zhu right there in the first 200, and now she's going to do the same thing here in the breaststroke. Although Adams has not slipped that much, she's only a body length behind at this point, but that could stretch out the two after another 50. Beisel has extended to that body length you mentioned, trying to add to that with Adams in lane five tracking her. And it's a battle for third place right now. Zhu up there in lane three, and in lane six, Sarah Henry from AM. Now, this is, again, a, a, a great case for the SEC as being the best conference in the country. Look at these 400 IMers go. So, I mean, it took 411 flat just to make the finals here in this event. And now that body length has stretched out to about two body lengths. And Beisel is a very, very good freestyler. She anchored the 800 freestyle relay for Florida earlier in the meet. And now she's going to pour it on here. Great shot to break four minutes. The Gator looking very good in lane four. Pulling away from Camille Adams. Boy, she is just flying right now. Look at this. 3.58 is her best time now. 3.58, 3.5. Let's see if she can get under that. First swimmer this year to break four minutes. I think she's going to do it. The 20-year-old looking stronger at the end of this thing. Ah, she's going to be close. She's going to have to be 28 flat or better on this last 50. That's going to be a very tall order to do. She was about 16 seconds there. She's got to be about 14 here to break four minutes. 
She's going to be an SEC titleist in this event without question. What will the time be? Yep. Rizal, 359.53 with Adams and then Sarah Henry in third. What a splendid swim by Elizabeth Beisel, Trey. I mean, 359, and the way she did it showed a lot of patience that first 200. And this is when it was close. And, and, and the temptation for Baizo, I think, is just to take off here. It would be so easy to do that, being one of the best backstrokers in the world. But she knew she had to set up that great breaststroke that she has developed under Greg Choi. And she has developed a tremendous breaststroke. And you see the difference here and how far ahead she was. And Camille Haddon's had a great time. Wonderful time. And a great swim for Texas A&M, by the way. Second and third there. Steve Boltman's doing a heck of a job there.